So you now join us at the mower bed assembly line. You've seen how we've formed the bed, we've taken the steel, we've pressed it, we've welded it, we've taken it to the paint facility and given it its full paint treatment. We're now here where we start to insert the gears into the mower bed, big and small, assemble the discs and put the safe cut assembly on there. Here we have a large gear. This is the main gear which transports the power down the back of the mower bed. All our gears are produced in-house. We take the blanks, we cut the teeth, we mill it, we machine it, and this gear is designed specifically to our requirements along with a smaller satellite gear at the front. By using the big gear, small gear principle, it means we can easily transmit the power along the mower bed, we're giving equal power to every disc. So this is where the mower bed really starts to come to life. The mower bed here is a big M mower bed, but it's the same technology and philosophy whether we're making an active mower bed, an easy cut bed, or a big M bed. At the back, we've already mounted the large drive gears which are running at a slower speed to help preserve and prolong the mower bed life. And at the front, we're now going to mount this, which is the satellite hub, which is combined with SafeCut. SafeCut is our disc impact protection system. Mounted onto the mower bed, with the mower disc mounting on the top, should we hit a foreign obstacle in the field, the roll pin inside will break, taking the force out of the system, protecting the gears along the mower bed, and protecting the drive line. Not only does it provide protection to the mower bed, it also provides protection to the discs. As we hit the force, as the force hits, it spins up 15 millimeters, allowing the neighboring discs to pass underneath unpeded. So an important part of our mower bed assembly is cleaning out the inside of the mower bed and the gears. This machine here is running up the mower bed at a reduced speed and using a low viscosity oil to flush out any swath and any debris from inside the mower bed to ensure it's clean for operation. The next stage of the assembly process is to pressure test the mower bed. We take a completely assembled mower bed, put it on this rig and pressurise it to 800 millibar. We then hold this pressure for a minute before taking readings for 20 seconds. Providing the pressure hasn't dropped below a set level, the mower bed is given the seal of approval, the sticker and passed to, and goes on to the next stage of the production. By pressure testing the mower bed, it ensures that we have it fully sealed, the welds have penetrated and we're not going to start losing the oil during the life of the mower bed. At this station, we bolt on the skids. You'll notice the skid is a full width skid can be replaced by means of two bolts and with it being full width provides maximum protection to the bottom of the mower bed, protecting it from friction as it's pulled along the ground and from any potential damage by stones. The next process at this station is to take the disc and place it on the mower bed, ready for it to pass on to the next stage to have the discs assembled and secured. Quality control is an important part of the mower assembly. Here we have a test station which will run the mower bed up to full speed for seven minutes. So here we have the finished article, the completed mower bed. We've been around the factory, we've seen what goes into making this. We've seen how we press the steel, we weld it together. We've taken it to the paint facility, fully dipped it inside and out. We then take, come down the production line with it, inserted the gears, run it up, cleaned it out, pressure tested it, run it at full speed. And here we have the final product. It's worth noting just before we move on, a couple of the key features of our mower bed. We saw before how we have the big gears at the back and the small gears at the front. This means we can mount the mower disc further forward. By mounting it further forward, we have what we call the jet ski effect, which is a shallower slope on the bottom of the mower bed. By having a shallower slope means the disc is cutting lower and flatter so we're getting a quality cut in the field. The quality cut in the field means we get a faster regrowth of the crop, which at the end of the day is what you're after. Another advantage of the crown mower bed is that the drive comes into the back of the mower bed. By coming at the back, it means two things. One, we haven't got the drive on the outside, snagging crop and dragging crop as we go along the field. And secondly, we're not putting the drive in through this first disc. 
It's important we don't put the drive in through the first disc because if we were to do that, it means this will get all the power and as we move further down the end, we'll get less and less. But by using our satellite and spur gear arrangement, we have even power distribution to every disc, ensuring every disc has a uniform worth and gives a uniform cut.